What's up, industrialists? Here's a new design for a pretty compact alloy smelter setup. So you have two input conveyors on the left, two input conveyors on the right. Doesn't wa matter what materials they are as long as they're these four materials since those are the inputs for the alloy smelter. So you just make a line of alloy smelters like this as long as you want. Uh, it seems like it only supports up to three with the max output of the item sources. All right, so here's how it works. You just do overflow gates like that, uh, just a diagonal with one space in between them. Then you fill in the spots with junctions and then you just put conveyors here connect them up all right so that's step one now the other side you do basically the same thing All right. Except instead of conveyors in this gap here, you do junctions. And then you know, connect these up. Except in the top row where these where these two junctions are you actually put an output conveyor like that so now you can have an output row but you also need to connect it up with these junctions now the last step is connect it up to your power source that's what these middle areas are for they don't need to be connected specifically like this but I prefer if they're connected like that and there you go you got yourself some alloy anyway that's it like subscribe Suggest other things you would like to see, other designs. Goodbye. Shut up and sit down.